and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Community Guide. And today, I'm going to be going over the Madden market. They did just drop some brand new NFL 100 players, eight to be exact. The uh, the four will be dropping at 10:30, and the other four dropped last night. I will be having a 10:30 content video guys for you guys coming out today, going over all eight of them at once. I did not do the nine o'clock video. I'm gonna do them all together at once in the morning, so you guys can see everyone. I'm gonna go over the stats and everything. But they obviously did affect the market. You know, you can't just drop players of that caliber like a Devin Hester, a Deion Sanders. Now, it wouldn't have affected the market. It would have affected the market more had Devin Hester been a real wide receiver. And I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that right now. So. Devin Hester's a gadget player. He's like a, a speedy guy that you put on like wildcat, on screens, on kicker turns. So like he's a different breed of player. So he won't affect the market as much as if they had dropped a Calvin Johnson. Because if Calvin Johnson comes out, you sell all your other wide receivers. So you want that one. Devin Hester doesn't make you say that you have to. You don't have to get rid of your wide receivers. Like I won't be getting rid of Michael Irvin and Tyreek Hill for him because those are my wide receivers. Devin Hester's not a wide receiver for me. Deion Sanders is a guy that we already have on our teams to begin with. So it's not like it, it broke the market now. See if we had Deion Sanders, Night Train Lane and they dropped the greatest cornerback card, Darrell Rivas, that we've ever seen, then he might lower the cornerback market. But Deion Sanders already had, so he didn't really lower the other Deion Sanders price because you want to power him up. So the way they kind of did this was these players didn't affect the market as much as you might think, just off of that. Now, guys, before we get into the video, I do want to just make my reference that I have to make every video to the 25 Days of Pudence that is going on. I did pick the other three giveaway winners so far. They have hit me up on Twitter. I got to get back to them. I saw it. I just wasn't on last night, so I didn't get to buy anything. But... I will be announcing today's winner at some point in these videos. Now remember, all you gotta do to enter the giveaway is go down below, subscribe to the channel, comment down below the secret word you'll hear at some point during this video, like the video, and then comment the secret word and your console at the same time. So once you do those four things, you are entered to win. So make sure it's still 30K as we get closer to Christmas, more towards like once the promo starts, we will start increasing the rewards and so on and so forth. Now, let's get on over to the market and go see kind of the effects of what has happened and how we should go with that. Now, I'm gonna go check the price, see if it's a good time to buy or sell. I think with the Zero Show promo coming, I'd advise selling some things because even if the prices are low, we can only imagine they'll get lower. Now, the 86 to 87 is always a good place to start. 29K, so it seems like these are around the norm, if not lower than usual. I actually wanna to get to the 88 to 89 today. I wanna to see how these are looking for the most part. 88s are 47K. Now, I believe these these have been stayed pretty stagnant because it's kinda, it's kinda hard for these to get much, much lower than they already are just because these are like when i used to see the 80s couldn't go below 10k or below 8k because that's what they were now the market is way past that so the 88s are going to get to that point where they're going to be stuck in like the 35 to 45k range and they're not going to move for quite a while so these are kind of the new lows if you really like if you understand what i'm trying to say now that is kind of crazy 89s like marcus allen are 62k now i do want to see that training conversion real quick 89s let's see 60k let's get the calculator out 58k 58k is that it right there so let's see 58k divided by 4640 which i believe is the training quick sell value 4640 12 coins per training so the market is crashing bad like it's getting worse and i, I think this is a product of the nfl 100 players coming out because people are spamming those packs they're pulling other things such as legends and the legends are obviously gonna take a hit from that and this is legend saturday so this is the time when you expect these to come down 12 coins per training and that's not even me searching for the best one you search for the best one you can probably find 11 coins per training right now which is really crazy to think that when the zero trail promo starts we probably will have training below 10 now that could that change it could and that would be if the christmas bliss introduces snowflakes and training as a currency now snowflakes are kind of like training to an extent but there's is like specific to the zero chill type players so it'll have a similar effect on snow as far as that goes so like if they release anything for the bliss that requires snow or training prices of cards should come back up quite significantly but that is in fact at that time so for the time being you could always cash out wait for the time to go buy some cards buy them back and then worry about that later now surprisingly we did not get a ken houston card which is kind of what i was expecting Ken, I mean, the next ken houston cards would have been would have been crazy good we had above 90 hit power would have had a well above 90 zone well, well above 90 speed we had great stats the only issue is that we do a pat tillman at strong safety so i'm kind of happy they didn't drop him because it would have been a card that i really wanted but i probably should try to actually get so coming over to the 90s 91s 80 john was 86k literally like a month or two ago he was like 220k flat jerry rice is 90k so many good legends you guys could pick up for pretty cheap if you ever needed some let's see if there's any guys that like stand out that i'd say at this price point is a great great buy in general now Brian Dawkins is a really good one. Although you guys might want to pick up one of the newer free safeties that will be coming out. 
I do think Brian Dawkins is still a very solid buy. Opposite Lawrence Taylor is a solid buy. Ed Reed is still very expensive, surprisingly. And, I mean, if he was a free safety, I'd understand. But a strong safety with us having Pat Tillman, it's kind of hard to justify actually spending that much money on a strong safety when he won't even be better than the one we get for free. So that definitely is a tough decision to make there. Now, there's other themed cards here, like, you know, colorful cards that are other other programs or the promos but the secret word for today is reindeer all you gotta do is comment down below reindeer your console like the video and subscribe to the channel once you do those all those things you are entered to win good luck i'm not so interested in those when it comes to the 90s when it comes to the 90s i like the legends because those are power upable those are guys that i care about these like tyree kill there's obviously a few but set it up to the 90s 92 the 92 to 93s that's kind of where I'm, I'm, i've been looking because obviously that's, that's my team at this point i have to be looking in this range this is where i've been worrying about I and mean, the lower ones i don't really stick in too much Let's go over to Legends. 168 for Portis. Who stands out here that I would probably end up picking up? And by the way, the trend is looking like things are right here right now. When Zero Chode comes, it should go down a little bit more. And then when they start introducing, and if we don't really like the first wave of cards, things should come back up. And they start introducing like training and snowflakes and stuff. That's when things will start to come back up a little bit when the blitz happens. But for the time being, we should, we should be dealing with the dead market for quite a while. I don't really envision this changing for quite a bit amount of time considering the circumstances so let's get it over to what else do we have minus the legends let's go redux the redux cards some that were positions that did just come out had taken a hit but as i said to you guys a lot of them are there was a gadget like dion and, and hester that aren't just cornerbacks aren't just wide receivers so they didn't really affect that specific market and dion we already had most people already had them so the redux didn't really change too much from the nfl 100 some prices are naturally just coming down, like Donald, Kittle, and Moss, they just naturally coming down. Like I said, if they had dropped to Calvin, this Moss probably would have dropped more. Other things would have dropped more, but they didn't. They dropped a wide receiver that's known for gadget plays more so than actually playing wide receiver. And they can't, he can't route run, so people can't actually slot him in as a number one or two and think that that's going to fly. So that, that's kind of the beauty of what they did. They at least didn't kill the market in that aspect. And while also keeping his price, honestly, not too high. The NFL 100 cards, which I like that they did make them LTDs because it kind of keeps them from being too expensive at the same time it makes them so obtainable that we want to have all of them and it really kills our pocket go to nfl 100 to see what these are looking like emmett smith 340 these have kind of stayed the same the nfl 100s didn't move too much now this ray guy that just came out he does he's going for pretty low but that is because he's a punter although he does look like a really solid punter now another guy that just came out that is getting pretty cheap is going to be the devin hester 600k for devin hester is not horrible 95 uh, speed guys on a raven steam team or on any theme team he does have a 99 speed with theme team powered up and everything he does hit 99 speed i believe he also gets to 99 agility that's really just it's crazy his excel is probably gonna be like a 97 98 this card's pretty nasty and what i recommend picking him up guys if you have the coins and you could power him up and come up all the way he's gonna be the best kick return pop returner probably you could throw you put um human joystick on him you throw him on drags he's gonna be able to cut all around the field you're not gonna want to actually run around down deep with him you just want to just throw it to him and let him open space to see if he can make moves the card's gonna be pretty crazy in space to be quite honest with you guys and usually you know it's funny because when they've given us Devin Hester cards in the past they haven't really been as OP looking as this one does at this point in the game obviously there's been Devin Hester with better stats but they dropped that later points in the game where he's not as overpowered you guys get what I'm saying the Deion Sanders insane obviously but it, it's weird because the NFL 100 cards when they first dropped people were like whoa and the whole market just died I guess people don't understand that NFL 100 is what it is they're gonna be here every week it's just like it's like Legend Saturday it gets to the point people aren't just selling everything for them every week and you know it's hard to sell everything every week because you can only sell so much to acquire cards of 700k every week or so so i guess it does make sense on that grounds of why things aren't changing as much with that other things crashing 86 is all the way up to 91s they're all crashing everything else is crashing but the nfl 100 prices seem to not directly affect each other which is kind of weird but it is because they're all 94s i guess so it's kind of like if you're picking up Lord's Taylor, you're not selling another one of these to pick them up. It's kind of like if you picked up the 94, that's because you wanted 94. Now, if they start dropping them higher overall, like 95, 96s, then these will start to drop in value. And it also helps that they're all positional and they're at each other position, so they're not really going to directly affect each other. It's kind of like, who would you rather have? It seems to be every week there's like the big brother and the little brother, though. It's like they drop Deion and Willie Brown. People determine Deion's better, so Willie Brown goes for cheaper. And then same thing with the running backs, Eric Dixon and Barry were better, so Emmett Smith and Jim Brown went for cheaper. So the only one they're really going to affect is each other, when people, once people deem who's the better one, press will drop. So that is a great way to make coins, by the way. When they first drop, pick who you think, find out who's going to be the best one, and pick them up for the price you see, because they probably will come back up. Like Eric Dickerson was going for about 450 k during the Blitz. People really start to just go on that front that Eric Dixon is the better one by far. And ironically, after people started deciding that Eric Dickerson was the best one, he skyrocketed up to almost double price while everyone else dropped. So if you could determine who's the best one when they're cheap, 
They're gonna make a lot of coins, just trust me. Plenty of YouTubers endorse them. They talk, talk about them in gameplays. And once people know the consensus best one, the prices will crash. Now, what do we have to expect for the market in the coming weeks? Like I said, the Series 4 and the Blitz and the Christmas promo should do a quite a quite a quite a toll, take quite a toll on the market. So just stay tuned for all that, guys. But that is about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you guys. Do expect a gameplay today with someone special that's gonna look really crazy. And do expect the 1030 content. That is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel and you want to enter this giveaway, make sure to go down below. You have to subscribe to the channel, comment down below the secret word that you heard throughout this video. If you didn't hear it, go back to check it out. And like the video, comment your console with the secret word. That's all you gotta do to enter. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.